I could sit here and do this all day. Hey everyone, welcome to Keep Shooting Monday, number 125. My name is Greg Cazillo from Cazillo.com. That's right, I have a new toy and I built it all by myself with some help from the internet. Uh, the, uh, this is a camera slider. Basically what it does is allows me to get nice smooth movements of my camera back and forth, any camera that I mount on there. And so that's the, the idea behind it. There are tons of them out there. There are tons of ways to do it yourself and build your own. About, I don't know, three, four months ago, this video came out and I loved the idea. I thought it was the perfect way for me to build it. The reason being is, is that I can hang the camera upside down, just like it shows in the other video, and shoot that way. I wanted to take this a step farther. This thing is really, really good. I like the design. I like the layout and um, the ideas and everything just worked for me. But again, it, it just... Number one, the, some of the issues, I thought I'd go over that. Some of the issues that I didn't like about that, number one, it uses copper pipe. Copper pipe is going to flex on the, on the inside, um, especially since this is a six foot long slider. It's going to flex, uh, that's just, uh, you know, on a longer, any kind of a decent span, it's gonna get some flex in it, and I didn't like that, I wanted to get rid of that. Basically, I wanted to make the whole thing more industrial. So I got rid of the wood, I got rid of the copper pipe, I, these are actually closet poles, so they're made to hold a lot of weight. They're the perfect size. I think they were inch and five eighths, something like that. I'll put a link up to where I got them from Home Depot or Lowe's or one of those two stores. Um, and uh, so that's these guys. So that well, that back to the the old one. That was the issue that I had. It is just it was too lightweight, and it was just not built as industrial as what I had wanted. So I wanted to take it a step farther. So that's what I have here. So I have, I found closet poles and believe me, I looked everywhere in the store till I finally found the right pieces and parts to make this work. The main two that I really needed that made it work were these closet rods and this hinge right here. This hinge, I got it from McMaster Car. They're a huge industrial outlet. Um, this hinge allows me to basically take his idea of being able to set this at any angle if I wanted to, and then one step farther though, so that I can do whatever I want with it. Basically not have to make it a like a Miss, Mickey Mouse hinge system, which DIYers, yeah, great. It works fine with the, with the little parts that he had there. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. But this just takes it one step farther and is a nicer system overall. And uh, it also looks better. Everything matches, especially once I get it, the aluminum painted. Um, anyway, so closet rods. Uh, got this nice hinge with a locking handle from McMaster Car. Uh, and, oh, you know what I forgot to grab? I forgot to grab the other thing that really made this entire project. And that is the wheels. On the bottom here, which you can't see, I'll show you a picture, are a set of these wheels. These are from Cam On Wheels. These things are perfect. They did exactly what did I needed them to do. Uh, they're like a plastic kind of a rubbery material. I'm sure there's a technical term for that, but that's my term right now. Basically, they sit right in here and they slide back and forth. They're mounted on the underside of this aluminum right here and they sit right in here and they slide back and forth, allowing that to, to keep going and to, to hold out and also allow it to sit underneath if I wanted to, to get a super, super low angle shot if I wanted. So uh, thank you very much to Camo on Wheels for sending these over. I'm actually gonna be giving a set of these away in the next week or two, so that if you wanted to make a DIY slider, you can, just like this one, I have putting all the, the stuff together and all the parts and pieces and uh, basically the uh, if you want to know the how to put it together you can watch the other video just use my parts list 
The goal is to make it more industrial, a little bit heavier duty, and um, in the end, a little bit nicer looking, um, like it's a real commercial slider. A couple of the issues that I'm still working out are the way that I mount this here on the end, I'm not super happy with on the tripods or on stands. I need to work on that. The issue is, is that the, these are aluminum pieces on the end, and I got them from actually a local uh, machine shop, which I highly suggest going to a local machine shop, uh, supporting those guys whenever possible. If you can't, here's a link to another company. Where, uh, actually, I'll put it down in the description where you can pick up sheets of aluminum off of the internet. They'll cut it for you and then send it right out. And so that's a, a nice and expensive way to get the aluminum. But anyway, you can't basically drill and tap this aluminum with a quarter 20 because of it because it's so such thin material you're only talking two or three threads there so it's not enough to grip and to last a long time so I need to find a better solution than what I have here now so I'm working on that um, another thing is, is I'm going to need to get two hinges instead of just one just this one hinge doesn't quite have enough strength. I really need to ratchet it down real hard in order to get it to hold. Um, so that's not quite right. Uh, also on the underside here, uh, I need to find the right, which I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. I need to be able to find the right size bolt uh, in order to go on the bottom of whatever head you have on here. Hopefully it's gonna be a fluid head, a video fluid head. Uh, obviously, I just have a three-way head on here right now. I just didn't take apart my camera in order to, or my other rig in order to do it, to move it over yet. Um, and then also, the wheels, I'm still having a little bit of trouble with getting them to be properly spaced and to take up all of that space the whole way and get, find a way to, to tighten them so that they're nice and super tight. So there's a couple little things. It's still a prototype. It's still basically, you know, like a beta version. It's an early version, it's an early one, but it's looking really good. I'm really happy with it. Um, here's a couple of sample shots that I did this morning. I actually literally just put this hinge on, so I was just trying it out and it it's nice and smooth. Overall, love it, highly suggest it. If you do any kind of video, commercial or just, you know, for fun, this can be a great way to build a DIY slider. It only cost me probably for everything, I think about 150 bucks, something like that, not including the stands and not including the head, um, you know, just for the materials to make it. It wasn't that expensive at all. And you can probably find, you might be able to find like the pieces of aluminum a little bit cheaper than what I paid. Um, but other than that, it's just some fasteners, you know, some screws and bolts and, and you know, there really isn't much special stuff. Last thing I'd like to adjust on this, I'd like to get something to fill these holes right here. I think that would be good. Um, then down the road, my goal down the road is actually to automate this thing. And so I have an idea how I'm gonna automate it. And that's actually why I left this additional lip right here in order to allow me to take a Raspberry Pi and attach it right here and then I think I know how I'm going to drive this actually with another wheel. I'm gonna take another one of these wheels and I'm gonna stick it out here on the outside, turn that into a drive wheel and actually drive this up and down. And I think that's gonna be the way that I'm gonna go uh, to make the whole thing move on its own. I'll be able to control the length with a switch here that'll tell it to stop and then a switch over here that'll tell it to stop or to switch directions. And so um, overall, I think it's gonna be a pretty cool build. I can't wait to try it out actually on a shoot, uh, throw a coat of paint on it, make it look a lot better. Um, maybe have another one that doesn't have all of my, you know, all of my test holes and drill holes and stuff in it, you know, that, uh, that are messed up and all the scratches, you know, I need to paint the aluminum so that it looks better. And I was thinking about just using under black undercarriage paint in order to, to make it look better and, um, a little bit more heavy duty. So, um, so that is my DIY slider. Check out the original video that was all over the internet, probably back in the fall. Um, it had a lot of views uh, from a guy over in the UK and um, use my parts list and go by his. Uh, I used the drill press in order to do this. 
I actually have a drill press in order to get nice straight holes. You can go and borrow one from a friend, or you could even go right to that machine shop and say, here, here, build me this. Uh, the other idea would be to, um, you could just use a handheld drill if you really wanted to. Just a matter of doing your best to really get those holes nice and straight. Maybe have someone help you to keep the holes straight as you're drilling them. That could always help. You know, when you're looking at it and drilling it on one angle, it's, it's okay. But if you have someone else to be able to kind of walk around and look at it and say, yeah, that's good, drill it, then that can definitely help. So um, enjoy the footage that I shot. Let me know what you think. Any comments, questions, I would love to hear them. I think that is it for Keep Shooting Monday, number 125. Thanks, guys. Keep shooting.